So you've made the decision to go sport fishing in Alaska. Maybe you're someone who's never been to the state, so you don't even know where to begin. Or maybe you're somebody who goes to the same fishing spot over and over again, and it's time for you to broaden your horizons and find a new favorite fishing hole. Fishing Game now has a resource that's just for you. To navigate, from the Fishing Game webpage, select Fishing, Sport, and We Fish AK. On the We Fish AK page below the image, if you scroll down, you'll see the Go Fish AK logo. Below that is a link that says Interactive Maps. Select that. All right, now we're at the Go Fish AK page. We're here for the interactive map. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Start Mapper. When you launch the interactive map, the first thing you're going to see is this welcome screen. It's got great information and important links that you should absolutely be familiar with before you go, like regulations and emergency orders. But this isn't the only place where you can access those links in the app. You can also take a tour if you come away from this tutorial and you feel like you need a refresher. But that's what I'm here for today. So let's go ahead and click OK and dive in. Let's start with the resources that are in the header. If you're somebody who prefers just text-style cheat sheets and you'd rather not work through an interactive tutorial, there's also a help resource for you by clicking Help from the top of the screen. Once you arrive at this guide, just begin scrolling down and you'll find images that are labeled along with some text to help guide you through using the interactive map. If at any point you want to return to the GoFish AK webpage for all the information and resources there, you can click the GoFish AK logo. As I mentioned before, the welcome screen is not the only place that you can access the general sport fishing regulations. You can also link right back to that page by clicking sport fishing regulations in the top header as well. Once you've figured out where you want to go fish, this page is very important to visit to ensure that you are familiar with regulations that apply to that area. It's also important that you check out the emergency orders, which are also linked on this page. And don't forget, you need your fishing license. If you haven't yet bought your fishing license, you can do so online by clicking Buy Your Fishing License in the top right of this page. All right, let's go ahead and start finding our fishing spot using this map. It may not look like much, but once we zoom in, we are going to find so much great sport fishing information. So let's go ahead and zoom in by double clicking. At this level, we already see some additional important information. We see a bunch of names here that refer to these boundaries in purple. These names refer to regulations areas that track with the information in the statewide regulations page accessed from the header. So that's great to know the regulations area you're headed to, but let's click again so that we can dig into these sport fishing areas. There's so much information here in this view. If you noticed, as we zoom in, the information on the list on to the right update based on what's in your current map view. So at any point, you can begin clicking through those and you'll see those locations in the map get highlighted. We're looking at quite a few symbols here. We can certainly guess at what they mean, but we don't have to guess. That's what the legend is for. I'm going to open that so that we can see what's what here. Great, so you can see that the blue dots with fish on them are our sport fishing opportunities. We've also got harbors, launch ramps, and sport fishing access trails. There are some other layers that are also helpful background information, but really these four layers are the meat and potatoes of this app. You may have also noticed all these gray buttons around the map, these square boxes that have various icons. These are other map tools, and each of them has a function to help you navigate the map. The first that I want to draw your attention to is my favorite. It's the Find My Location button. When you click this, the map will zoom to your location wherever you are with your device. 
And of course, this tool doesn't make much sense unless you are physically located in Alaska, since the coverage of this data is only those locations in the state. But it's a really great way if you're just wandering around and you want to see if there's a fishing spot near you, you can use this tool. If at any point you also want to return to that default statewide view, you can do so by clicking the home icon just above the Find My Location tool. If you're headed to a specific community or you want to search for locations that are in and around your existing community in the state, you can search for that city name using the search tool in the upper right. Get started by typing in the place name or community name of wherever you're headed or wherever you are. As you type, you'll see a list of suggested places appear. Notice that some of these places aren't located in Alaska. This is because this search tool is a global search. So you can see here that I have an option returned for Craig Street in Ohio. Even though I'm sure it's great, it's not related to Alaska fishing. So I'm going to make sure that I select Craig, Alaska to see what fishing is around there. All right, here we are in Craig, Alaska. I'm going to go ahead and close this pop-up so that we can start exploring fishing around here. You've probably also noticed that we've got some new data layers here with these yellow and these speckled green blobs. This data is salmon holes in halibut hills for marine areas in southeast Alaska. You could have also opened the map legend to find that out. But let's go ahead and jump into our map layers tool below the legend tool so that we can customize which layers are visible. First, I'm just going to move this map layer list off to the side so that we can see the map update as we turn layers off. Let's pretend that I don't have a boat, although that's true, I don't. So harbors and launch ramps really are not relevant to my fishing experience, so I'm going to hide those layers. These eye icons next to each layer name are what I need to click to make them invisible. While I'm at it, I'm also going to turn off the Salmon Holes and Halibut Hills Fishing Atlas layer. At this scale, I'm not actually seeing any fishing opportunities, so I'm going to zoom out from this center point of Craig, Alaska to see what's the closest fishing opportunity. At this point, I'm not totally interested in clicking through each of the items in the list off to the right, though that's a great way to discover fishing information. I have a really specific goal in mind. I want to go to a river where I can fish for pink salmon, that's also accessible from the road because remember, I don't have a boat. So to be efficient, because I have a specific experience in mind, I'm going to use the filter options off to the left of the map for category species and access mode. Once I've applied my river filter, I'll then open the species filter menu so that I can filter the sites further to only see rivers where I can go pink salmon fishing. And lastly, I need to apply my filter for only sites that are accessible from the road. I noticed right away that Harris River has a U.S. Forest Service campground. That looks pretty cool. I could maybe even turn my fishing trip into multi-day by using that campground as well. I'm going to click in the map to find out more information about that spot. I'm liking the looks of this. Once I get information from this site, I'll jump back to the app so that I can find more information about fishing at Harris River. I'm going to make Harris River the active site in the map by clicking on the list off to the right, though I could click the site directly in the map. And then I'm gonna scroll down below to look at the more information view and get some printouts that I can actually take with me to take this information about Harris River out into the field. There are a couple of things to notice in this more info view. You'll see at the top of the information box two out of four with some arrows. Flipping through this will help you flip through the sites that are in your current map view so that you can just check in and compare sites nearby. There are also some buttons off to the right where you can access additional critical information before you go. I'm going to start with the special regulations. 
These are in addition to the regional regulations that can be accessed from the top of this page. It's also important to check out emergency orders, just in case there are any closures or openings or changes to regulations. The More Info button here will link to any public use amenities, um, such as campgrounds, parks, or day use areas. And where those are lacking, it, this will take you to the contact information for the area manager for this location. And lastly, if you're pretty sure that you're not gonna have internet access where you're headed, it's a great idea to print the same information by clicking print the site. This will give you a PDF that you can either print out as a hard copy or you can save to your mobile or tablet device. So we've been talking about sport fishing opportunities themselves, but getting to these sites is just as important. There's a very similar data experience for access information, which includes harbors, launch ramps, and sport fishing access trails. In other words, trails that you could take to go sport fishing. I'm going to open up the Felter Access Sites menu to the upper left of the map so that we can check out the different options that we have to hone in on access site data relative to our needs. If you'll recall from the beginning of this presentation, we were working with the scenario that I don't have a boat. So I had turned off the harbors and launch ramps layers. I'm going to go ahead and reactivate those so that we can check out the access information and specifically look at boat launches associated with day use areas. So now that the layer I need is reactivated, I'm going to open up the Boat Launches tab under the Filtered Access Sites menu and apply that Day Use Area filter. You'll notice the two nearest boat launches got eliminated by that filter, so they lack day use areas. I can either explore around the map by zooming and panning, finding boat launches that remain, or I can use a shortcut by using the Browse Access Sites list off to the right of the map and see what boat launches were returned by that filter. In the current map view, the Hollis launch ramp is the only launch ramp that's associated with the day use area. I can see it in the map close to where it says Kassan. I'm going to check out more information below. When I scroll down below, I see that the selected fishing spot info tab is still open. I'm just going to shortcut to this information for this specific launch ramp by clicking more info from the browse access sites list next to the map. So by reading the more information box, I can see that this launch ramp provides some great access to some marine locations like 12 Mile Arm, Cassan Bay, and others. I'm just going to zoom in now into the map where this launch ramp is located so that I can just see a little bit more about the surrounding area. So I can see that this launch ramp is close to a lot of other great fishing sites and looks like some cabins and campgrounds that also still may be accessible from this launch ramp. And with that, I'll close and jump to some resources for you to reach out to staff with any questions that you may have about this app when, once you go away from this presentation and try it out on your own. At the lower right of this page, you'll see a button that says contact us. That is that form where you can detail questions or issues and a Fish and Game staff member will reach out with you to help out as soon as possible. Thank you so much for tuning in to learn more about this resource. We hope that it helps you to get out and fish and find your new favorite spot. And we hope to see you out there on the water.